Chapter 6 Yoshi Saves the Day The friends traveled until they came to an opening of another large pipe. This should take us to Yoshi Island, Mario said. I can't wait to see Yoshi. <clears throat> they climbed into the pipe and continued walking. Luckily, this path was clear of trouble. No piranha plants, no koopas, no hammer bros. This is our lucky day, Mario said. Luigi rubbed his head where a bump head formed thanks to the hammer bros. I don't know, Mario, he moaned. I don't feel so lucky. After walking a long way down the pipe, there, the three hopped out into the sunshine. Brightly colored flowers captured, flowers captured the ground, and fruit trees dotted the landscape. Jumping and playing among the trees were several small dinosaurs, each one different color. Mario called out to a green dinosaur. Yoshi, it's a me, Mario. Hoo hoo. Yoshi turned and smiled happily. The little dinosaur bounded over to Mario and nuzzled his neck with his round nose. Good to see you too, Yoshi, Mario said. I missed you. Yoshi twirled around in a circle and then hopped up and down. I can't play right now, Yoshi, Mario said. I need your help. I have to... F I have to find a mushroom. One that looks like this. He reached into his pouch and pulled out the glittering brown mushroom. Yoshi nodded his head excitedly. You know where it is? Mario asked. Yoshi nodded and jumped up and down. Mario turned to Luigi and Toad. If I ride a Yoshi, I can get there faster, he said. That's okay, Mario, Luigi said. We'll wait for you here. Mario hopped on Yoshi's back. The little dinosaur took off at a fast gallop. They rode through the fruit trees past the other Yoshi until they came to a tall hill. Yoshi charged up the hill. Breeze, the breeze whipped through Mario's mustache as they climbed the hill. A wave of hope surged through Mario. His dinosaur, his dinosaur friend had helped him on many adventures. Now that Yoshi was with him again, Mario felt he couldn't fail. Yoshi reached the top of the hill where glit a glittering blue mushroom grew. Mario hopped off of Yoshi's back. This is it, Yoshi! Mario said. He plucked the mushroom. Yoshi's eyes grew wide as the clue appeared out of nowhere. Now we... Now we... Now we find out where to go next, Mario said. But before he could take a look at the clue, he heard a noise. Thump! Thump! What's that? Mario wondered. Spiny eggs rained down from the sky. Mario looked up to see four smiling clouds. Overhead, riding each cloud, in each cloud was a Koopa-like creature wearing glasses. Look at you, Mario cried. Not now! Around him, the spiny eggs were coming to life. It transformed into small, mean-looking turtles with, with spiked backs. Uh, they charged at Mario. Yoshi, watch out! Mario cried. He... He thought quickly. If he jumped on those turtles, it, he would just hurt his feet on the spikes. Unless... Mario took the hammer out of his pouch. Bam, bam, bam! He thumped on... He thumped each one of the turtles as it attacked. But where was Yoshi? Mario turned around. To see Yoshi high in the air at the Likidu, <laughs> Yoshi swallowed one of the clouds with a cry. Right. Yoshi swallowed one of the clouds. With a cry, the Likidu tumbled to the ground. Go, uh, uh. Yoshi swallowed the rest of the cloud, sending the other Likidu sprawling. Ah! Good work, Yoshi, Mario said. He jumped 
on Yoshi's back. Now let's get out of here. Before those Likitos know what hit them. Yoshi bounced back down the hill and through the grove of fruit trees they found Luigi and Toad playing with some of the other Yoshi. Did you get it? Luigi asked. Mario nodded. We were attacked by some Nikito, but the Yoshi took care of them. Yoshi smiled and licked his lips. Mario removed all Mario removed the clue from his pouch. They all gathered around it. The next The next clue is mine. They all can remember. The next clue is mine. The next clue is yours? Mario asked, puzzled. No, it's not the mine, Luigi said. Who's this? Whose clue is it? Toad wondered. Mario sighed. They would never find the next mushroom. End of chapter.